Welcome back, everyone. This is Daniel Bush with POV Pool, and we are about to start the final match of the day of day two's preliminary rounds uh, between Alan Castillo. He's the defending, uh, the defending uh, USBA, or is it? Yeah, was he USBA? three cushion national amateur champion and he's playing Paul Feltman Jr. and Paul got the break <coughs> that was the lag between both of them So it's raced to 25 points, folks, and uh, it should be a good match. Alan Castillo uh, is a uh, force to be reckoned with in the billiard community these days. We had the chance to, Geraldine and I had the chance to uh, <coughs> go to dinner with um, <coughs> Alan last night. We were talking to him about last year, you know, when he won the national, the amateur championships. And, uh, you know, he's like, man, it was, it was a crazy experience. It was, um, my phone blew up and, you know, I got like 60 messages when I got home and um, everybody was congratulating me. Overwhelming response from people that uh, found out that he earned himself that title. So I'm sure that Alan would like to, you know, give us a repeat performance. But it is a different year, a different field. We have a lot of new players I haven't seen before. We have a couple of Vietnamese guys that are pretty good. And um, not to mention some of the, uh, the Turkish players, uh, Berke Keskin and John Gudali. who um, have uh, made the commitment to improve since last year. So, you know, we, we're going to have uh, we're going to have a pretty exciting couple of days in the finals, which are all going to go to 30 points. Final rounds. Nice shot from Paul. So far, Alan Castillo is undefeated. <coughs> he's one, two, he's two for two, three for three now, I believe. Played, played and beat Bob Ferrara today. If 
anybody can beat Allen, it's definitely, you know, Paul's one of them. He's somebody that I would think of to try to beat Allen and uh, be successful. Paul, Paul uh, can sneak up on you. He, he knows the shots, knows how to play and execute. And uh, he has one of these tables at home, so, you know, he puts in the time. So he's got to, you know, Allen's got to keep his, uh, his head strong here in this match. short yeah just a little short it's a little short if any of Alan's friends are watching. They, you know, feel free to check in with us in the chat room. I'm sure he would get a kick out of that. Paul Feltman raises his hand because he got a little bit lucky there. He missed that kiss and got the billiard. Look at this. I think he'll play the underside of the red here. No? Is he going into the white? Yes. Withdraw. No. Dropping in? Wow. I wasn't expecting that, but I think uh, just Allen's trying to play a little bit strategic here. He, you know, doesn't want to leave too much. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think uh, he's left a ticky for Paul. Paul can also play a natural off the red as well. Uh, what is Paul playing here? Oh my goodness, that's not what I <laughs> did not expect that shot. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Mark Dong says, Buena suerte, Alan. Yeah, Hal Feinberg says that uh, Alan's playing defensive. 
I agree with you. I agree. I, I, you know, especially when your opponent comes in and says, hey, here's five points. You know, like, uh, here's, here's four points. You know, deal with it. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. He's going to play uh, off the uh, left of the red, or right of the red. Okay, he's played the same shot he just played. no good so Alan will come back with uh, an opportunity definitely an opportunity play to hit the long rail and come underneath the red then well played this is a very thin hit very thin hit on the red unless he's no he's playing very thin Nope, playing around. Okay, never mind. Going around table. Why not? And that's why I'm here and he's there. <laughs> Teaching me a lesson. Ray Raskin says, Alan gives me a playing lesson every so often at Edgy's. He's a student of the game as well. Yeah. Uh, I can see uh, I can see why you would learn from, from Alan. He was uh, nice enough to help me one time too when we met down at uh, Million Dollar Billiards. No pressure when he plays you, too, you know. That's a beautiful shot from Paul. You can actually draw off this ball and go around four rails like this. Um, <clears throat> it's going to go long, though. I didn't know he was going to hit the yellow with the red, but look at that. It was actually right on target. <clears throat> he just drove the red into the yellow, took the ball, took the point away. Just playing this thin, thin.
thin. Uh, well, you can play this a couple different ways. I think he's going to play as thin off the white and uh, and bring the cue ball around the table. But he can also play it off the other side of the white and draw around the table or just spin around the table. He's taking his time here. He, he doesn't want to do something that's going to end up leaving Paul a shot. If, and he also wants his best position. Yeah, he's going to play off the other side of the white now and spin around. This actually gives him the best position for the for the white ball uh, in case of a miss. Of course, you know, the good players, they don't want to miss at all. There's no miss in the uh, vocabulary, but... Was a good shot. Kept him on the table. And uh, I think Allen might play this four cushions uh, to the white, coming under the white. His yellow will come around three cushions to the, the piece of chalk right there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's a little short. Need to play a little longer for that to go four cushions. Or maybe he was playing direct. I don't know. I like the four cushion shot, but uh, once again, he's the one down there. I'm up here. <laughs> That's too slow, I think. I don't know if that's going to make it. Okay, it is. It is. It's going to get there. It's a good shot. As we watch this, uh, and uh, we see Allen in staying in control in the last few innings, uh, however, you know, this has not helped his lead, um, or his, it has not helped him get or catch up with Paul. Paul's still uh, four points ahead. This was beautiful. A little short. Playing this underneath. Oh. Threw me off again. It's a good shot. Driving forward here. Oh, no. He plays the same shot. Well played. Well played.
Got to watch the kiss here. Paul needs to come to the table with like four right now. That would really put some pressure on Allen. If he could do that, or even just two. I can tell you what's going to happen, though, if he does this. Um, Allen will tighten up the game so much. Um, he'll play a lot of safety or defensive shots. So Thomas McLaughlin st stopping into our chat room says uh, to say hello to Paul Frankel, Professor Cuball. I will do so for you. Glad you're enjoying the live stream. Please leave us a thumbs up. A good way to tell YouTube that uh, three cushion billiards is cool. I think Paul, um, I think Alan's licking his lips right now. Not the best roll. But he got the point. Three rail bank to the red. Good shot. Paul's pretty good at those, I'm noticing. Good shot, good shot. Came out of the corner nicely there.
on the uh, first and second cushion. Now, is he playing this short? Yeah, he is. He's playing it short. That's good, too. Well played. <coughs> Run of three so far. His cue ball's right on the cushion. Makes this a little, little more difficult. He's playing this long underneath, and that's good too. That was an excellent shot, and this is the run of four I was talking about. Now you're going to see, you're going to see uh, Allen unless he gets a good chance to score on the next shot. You're going to see Allen play a very different game. We might be in for a long little match here. Hopefully not too long. We do have Florian Kohler coming in at uh, 7 o'clock local or 8 o'clock local time. Look at this doozy. I like it. I like it. I like it. Run of five. Playing a natural. Perfect. Now here's the golden question. Yes, his dad is watching. <laughs> Paul Feltman Sr. is uh, watching the match. Look at this. Six. This is a good run. This is a very good run. So how tall is this man? Because this is a quite a stretch. He can do it. You play this short. Long, uh, short, long, short, short, long, long, and then short again. And it's good. Run of eight. No, <laughs> run of ten. What the hell am I talking about? Gosh. What a shot. A round table. That's good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, this is a contender for the uh, highest run of the tournament. I think there's a, uh, I could be wrong. There might be a $250 prize for the highest run in the tournament. So far, Paul's on 12.
Oh, he's on 10? I knew there was something wrong with my math. All right, well, Alan is going to take his, uh, his five-minute break that he's allowed. We just had a run of 10 from Paul Feltman Jr. What a run that was. Nice work. We want to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, Paul Frankel actually works here and is the man, I mean Paul Frankel, Paul Feltman. Paul Feltman's the, the man responsible for allowing uh, the three cushion billiards and the uh, and the uh, the pool events to take place here at the Casino del Sol. Uh, he is the CFO of uh, Casino del Sol, and uh, and he is uh, a, a big supporter of three cushion billiards and of pool and billiards events. And uh, we want to thank uh, the Casino del Sol for what they do for uh, Q Sports in the United States for allowing us to promote the games and, uh, and to have these events and host these events. Casino del Sol, in my opinion, uh, even just for a vacation, is one of the best resorts that I've ever been to in the United States. And I've been to a few. Um, and uh, there's golf here. There is uh, uh, there's, uh, swimming. There's entertainment. There's lots of food. And there's uh, fun for everybody. So uh, definitely check out the Casino del Sol for your next destination point, uh, your next vacation. Um, also, we had Adima Realty in, based in Massachusetts. I want to thank uh, Adima Realty if you're looking for any real estate or financial services in Massachusetts area. F or if you're looking in the Massachusetts area uh, to buy or sell. Uh, check out edema.com. We're also very happy to have these Dynaspheres carom balls. Um, very good quality, and uh, I've had uh, absolutely good feedback on these balls so far. Uh, they seem to be playing very well. And uh, for more information about Dynaspheres, you can go to dynaspheres.com. We also want to thank McDermott Q and McDermott's uh, carom Q line. Handcrafted Qs for over 40 years, McDermott Qs. Uh, can be found at McDermottQ.com. And also want to thank Hector Ocampo, Million Dollar Products. Million Dollar Billion, Billiard Products. Uh, launching his company with a new line of chalk, tips, and gloves. And uh, as always, if you're looking for any results for this event, uh, be sure to go to ProfessorQball.com. And also we want to thank Royal Pro Cloth uh, for providing this great cloth that is on the uh, tables that we're playing on. With that, Alan Castillo is back at it. He's back from his break. And let's see. Let's see if my prediction is true. Uh, will he play a safer game? I mean, you know, at this point, you're down 18-7. You need to, uh, you need to perform. You need to do something here. You can't just play safe every shot. So, are we going to see an aggressive Alan Castillo, or are we going to see a cautious, defensive Alan Castillo?
Remember, we are in the preliminary rounds. Although you don't have to win every match you play to um, end up in the finals bracket for this event. It's nice not to lose <laughs> on your way to the finals. <laughs> And uh, when you know you're in a large flight, like a, a round robin of 10 or nine players, you know you have to play uh, w very well for as many matches as possible. Uh, you want to have minimal losses in the preliminary rounds with a large flight. That looks good. Mark Dong saying, uh, wake up, Alan. Believe you got this. Well, yeah, that's one thing he has to do. But, you know, you got you to gotta hand it. Look at this shot. This is not an easy ball. And it was, uh, it was going, too. Uh, but what I was going to say is, you know, you got to hand it to Paul Feltman, too. I mean, uh, run of 10. Run of 10 is enough to put pressure on... Some of the best of them. That was perfect. Perfect. Most likely he will knock this red away from the corner. That'll change the dynamics of the table a little bit. Pretty tall order to play that shot uh, around the table off the yellow. I think he's trying to see if he can play this rail first, but it yeah, very, very difficult. Very difficult indeed. Especially uh, needing the reach that he needed. Ten point lead for Paul Feltman Jr. Not what we would have expected coming from the defending national champion. But Paul came with it. He came with a run of 10. Well, he played it uh, to come around for the fifth cushion there, come short or long. But uh, he played it. It wasn't long enough. Or it was too long, actually. Alex vlogs. Uh, he says in the chat room now, just play conservative, Paul. You got this game already. Just take your time. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you know, you got a 10-point lead. You know? 
it's not out of the realm to play a somewhat defensive game. And, uh, you know, Allen's got a shot here. He can make this ball. He had to hit the yellow, uh, the white, pretty thin. And uh, come down to the uh, first or second diamond. Um, but I think the trick here is to not overspin it, not hit it too hard. I mean, everybody has their own style, but that's that's my experience with this shot. Don't overhit it. That's perfect. Perfect. Not bad position, too. He, he can play this thin off the white and around three cushions to the red with a little bit of room for error. He's coming underneath the, the rad. No good. No good. <laughs> but the defense was there. So Paul will have to play a very good shot. I think he's going to he's going to actually play the short cushion. No. He's coming. Okay. He's going uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 rails into the red uh, umbrella to the white to the yellow and it didn't work. That was a smooth shot. I like that shot. Wow. Doubling the rail. Oh, this is drifting down. Is it good? It is good. What a nice shot that was. He's got good position. Alan, Alan's just got to, he's got to feel it. He's got to make sure he doesn't get caught trying too hard. Two kisses in this shot, and he missed them both. Good shot. Good shot. This is a gimme. Alan's supposed to make this 80%. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Wow. There goes that 20%. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Huh. 
Okay. All right. So where is everything landing? do here. I might just uh, I might just play spin shot around the table uh, off the right side of the white short long short long and uh, hopefully direct or possibly short again five cushion I don't think that's what he's doing. He's playing thin. Is it there? Look at this. It is there. Wow. That's unfortunate for him. That's such a good shot, too. I wouldn't even be able to get to the second cushion there like he did. He did well, he did very well to get to the second cushion with that spin. More often than not, I hit that too thin, and then I hit the ball underneath. I hit the red uh, coming up from the first cushion. <laughs> That's my mistake is missing the actual uh, object ball. This is, this is not over yet. Apparently, uh, Killer Panda, she says that uh, Paul Frankel actually beat Allen before at a tournament. Whether or not it was the same national champion, uh, the, the one from last year, I'm not sure, but... Um, You know, Paul's capable of beating anybody. He's a good player. You know, I've, I have a lot of respect for Paul's game. You know, and if anybody deserves uh, recognition, it's Paul, you know, with this, uh, with his passion and his love for the game, and he, him and his father. You know, they, they both work hard in this game. I mean, they've got, uh, you know, he's, Paul's got a full-time career and uh, he's got kids and a wife but uh, but you know he, he he stays true to the game through all of it So this is back and forth here, left, right, left, and uh, these are shots that I, I generally have hard time with, especially with the speed of the tables and stuff. That was very well played. Well. Got good position. He looks like he wants to play off the uh, right of the white. Just thin cut. 
play a short, long, long, just like that. One thing's for sure, though, Allen is creeping back into this match. Paul needs six to close the book on it. This is the second kiss I've seen from him, double kiss. come back and, uh, and win this game. You know, there's a lot to be said for that when you're down 10. Um, <laughs> Alan's trying to... <laughs> trying to decide which ball to play off. You could play off either one with the same shot, pretty much. I think he likes the white, though. Uh-oh. Uh, hit it too good. 